Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So uh, here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are satisfied over a given question statement and which of the roots are extraneous root. So we move towards the solution of this problem and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now first you see here we have 4 to the power of x is lies on both of these terms uh, so when we will take common 4 to the power of x so from here we get only 1 and plus from here we get 1 is equals to plus 1 only okay uh, so further in the next step you see here we need to add uh, 1 plus 1 so when we add 1 plus 1 it will becomes 2 is equals to 1 and because we solve this problem for the values of x so that's why we need to move this 2 to the right hand side or in other words we divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide both of the sides by 2 it will be written as in this form and now here further in the next step we have this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here 4 to the power of x is equals to this is 1 divided by 2 okay so here uh, you know about that if we have 1 over a and we move this a uh, upsides it will becomes its exponent will becomes negative and we write here in this form a inverse so uh, here according to this rule when we move this 2 to the upsides uh, it will becomes here 2 inverse and now further uh, we focus into the left hand side and here you see that the base of this term is 4 and we write this 4 into the prime factors form and the pr uh, prime factors of 4 are 2 square and its whole power x is equals to 2 inverse so here we need to use uh, the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this rule uh, we apply here this rule into the left hand side and we multiply these two exponents uh, so after using this it will becomes 2 to the power of 2x is equals to 2 inverse so here we use uh, an other exponent rule you know about that if we have a to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n so this implies that you see here if the basis of both of these terms are same so we equate its exponents and we get here m is equals to n so uh, here uh, you focus uh, on our equation on this equation and also you see here the bases on both of these terms are also same so we will get here 2x is equals to minus 1 and further in order to find the value of x we uh, need to divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide by 2 it will becomes 2x divided by 2 equals to minus 1 divided by 2 and you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get x is equals to this is minus 1 divided by 2. So this is the value of x uh, which we get here uh, and now uh, further in the next step we need to verify that is this value of x is a solution or is this value of x be the extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equals to 1 and now uh, in order to verification of the root here first we need a little bit uh, simplification here and now we uh, take common 4 to the power of x and it will becomes here uh, 1 plus 1 is equals to 1 and we have 4 to the power of x into 2 is equals to 1 and now we substitute this value of x into the left hand side so I, I can do these steps in order to make uh, less calculation so we have 4 to the power of x and x is equals to minus 1 over 2 times of 2 is equals to 1 
uh, and here we write uh, our 4 into the prime factors form and its prime factors are 2 square and its whole power is minus 1 over 2 is multiplied by 2 is equals to 1 and now you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here 2 inverse multiplied by 2 is equals to 1 so here uh, we uh, convert this 2 inverse into the fraction form and it will become here 1 over 2 is multiplied by 2 is equals to 1 and you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that the value of uh, x is equals to minus 1 over 2 is satisfied over this given question statement uh, so our final conclusion about the solution of this problem is that uh, minus 1 over 2 be the solution of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos